Having groceries is a necessity for everyone, right? I mean, we all need to eat right now. But now we have the option to get food without ever stepping inside a store. Our Abby Dodge explains, though, that that now comes with a catch. Most people walking in and out of the grocery store have masks and gloves on to protect themselves. But if you want to skip the checkout lines altogether, you're still going to have to wait. I think we're down to four days. The time between online checkout and pickup is getting longer. I was thrilled to be able to get a pickup for today. Hyvee says over the last two weeks, demand for pickups and delivery has quadrupled. Yesterday there was a line of cars all the way back to the end of the parking lot there. Shoppers aren't always getting everything on their lists. I think I saw toilet paper, with, which you haven't been able to get in a while. For some, waiting for whatever they can get is worth it. I appreciate not having to go in there because I have health care workers on the front line that live in my house. Thank you. It was just one of those things where we thought we have this ability to take care of it this way and why put ourselves at any risk or put other people at risk as well. But it does take some planning. It's harder, but we just try to figure it out together like what are we going to need in four days? Catherine Bikina is planning ahead too, but still making trips inside the store. I'm still trying to be able to get out and do normal things. Pass some of that normalcy. Bikina says she's getting groceries every two or three weeks to cut down on trips. We spend a little more, but a lot less trips. On the flip side, DoorDash employees are in line for pickup multiple times a day. I stay busy all day. Shopping inside or online, there's a greater appreciation for those who keep us fed. These people are amazing. Nobody understands how much they do and what they put themselves in front of for all these people to be at home safe. This Hy-Vee location recently started limiting the number of people it allows inside the store at one time. We've yet to see if that makes a difference in the delivery and pickup times. Emily Summit, Abby Dodge, KC TV5 News.